Chapter 16 of The People's Parks Lena, Casper, and Maddie continue along their journey, occasionally meeting other roamers who say that the city doesn't really have anything besides ruins and that they've been scavenging around something called the suburbs and haven't really found anything. Once they lay down to rest, Lena and Maddie exchange stories about how their respective city and town were both dying, and it was like small, and they had to leave. Then Maddie tells Lena, she's like, well, roamers don't often come to our village because there's like nothing here. So when Casper came along, I'm just like, okay, this is like probably going to be our last chance. And she hitches a ride with him and ends up in Sparks, where she, you know, meets everyone else. On the second night, they pull up to a town, and Casper complains that Maddie isn't as chatty as she usually is, and she replies with, I'm never chatty. And Lena gets a sense that Casper's getting a lot more than he bargained for when he brought Maddie along. Then, when they're back on the road again, they see a filthy roamer who tells them he hasn't eaten anything but crumbs for three days. Casper immediately gets hostile and defensive and is like, okay, dude, get out of here or else I'll whip you. And then, you know, like the rumor attacks him and Casper drives him off with his whip. Then when Maddie goes to get some more traveler's cakes out of their little chest, they discover they've been stolen from. The roamer had taken four traveler's cakes and had left dirt and probably crap. And Maddie's just like, you see, Casper, this is what you always do. You always make enemies immediately. It's like, no, you could have given him two cakes, sort of like friends. Well, not really friends, but, you know, he wouldn't have robbed us. We would have had two more cakes than we do now, and the rest of the cakes would not be covered with dirt and manure. And Casper's like, hey, I have a right to be defensive. And she's like, no, you don't be defensive. You are just openly hostile to every single person you meet. Then as they keep on traveling, they get to a large hill, and Lena's like, when are we going to get there? And Casper's like, well, there's the bay. That means we're almost there. Then we go around into the north. And Lena's like, okay, so when do we get there? And he's like, tomorrow. And Lena's like, tomorrow. And the chapter ends.